Hey everyone, Captain Amazing here, and today we're going to do a roster review, so let's jump into it. This is a premium review, so I'm not going to do a spin of the wheel. So the person who put in the request is Estefano with the Fighting Mongoose, Kyber 4, it looks like they're using the Negotiator. Do they have their Marauder up? Okay, so they have the Marauder up and running. I would like to see better. I don't know if you're just getting pushed down to the 20s and that's why you're there. But if you're doing your fleet climbs every day, you're going to struggle to hit. You, it's theoretically possible to hit number one at 24 and you would have to just win every fight because you can as long as you're number 27 and you attack as high as you can you can get first it's just really hard so i would like to see a little more participation there i, I want to see your fleets so you do have an executor a chimera negotiator you don't have a profundity you don't have a leviathan you have the tools here to perform so your chimera is a very strong fleet you don't have the scythe yet but this is enough to be executors very well this can two shot negotiator or leviathans but your your negotiator can help possibly to two shot leviathans let's see so i would get your plo Koon up and running I don't, I don't know if it's a priority right now because I, I just started looking at your account, but if you can get Plo Koon to R7, all six dot mods, then you go Plo Koon, Anakin, Marauder starting, and then you'll be able to dunk on pretty much all the, all the variants of Executor right now. So that's a good investment. Maybe you should wait to see what happens with Dengar's ship before you fully invest with that to see if it kills the Negotiator counter. But if the Negotiator counter stays viable even with Dengar's new ship then I would invest in that all right so you, you're missing scythe ships pretty much let's see your separatist your separatist is kind of built up get the seven star malevolence I don't know how long you've been playing we'll, we'll go back to that in a second but you should have a seven star malevolence by now a six star executor isn't very good either so maybe accelerate that i don't know how far off you are or how much you're willing to do that or if you're just fine because you're just throwing it on defense you're not really using it but a six star executor speeds are really weird so i not not the best let's go back and look at your account real quick so you're at 7.7 .7 million gp 4.4 in characters 3.2 in ships 14,000 Galactic War Battles. That's a good amount of time. That's three, over three years time played. It said that you're possibly looking at going for Inquisitors, Jabba, or maybe Leviathan, maybe Jedi Knight Calcastus, Lord Vader, or Rey. So uh, you have a lot on your mind here. Let's look at what you have into your account. So you have an R9 JML, which is good. You have SLKRC. Did you buy the, the Lightspeed Bundle for Ray? So you did. I would say it is pretty nuts that you bought that bundle a while ago and you still don't have Ray. So I, I haven't said this in a long time, but if you buy the bundle, you should get the payout. So if you wanted to quickly unlock Ray, that would be a smart decision. You're very, very close. I'm pretty sure you have the Radis. You don't have the Radis. Wow. You did not buy the Radis bundle. So I'll say this. If the bundle comes out for the resistance and you want to buy that, it should be here pretty soon. Or if you just want to farm it, Ray is a good one. Uh, you can even just get start getting the Radis ready as far as the ships and then start knocking that out. So yeah, this is kind of nuts. I think you're you're miss oh you're missing the MG Star Fortress. So you should start farming that when you start getting the Radis. It's it's not a horrible fleet, it's not unusable. So it's not great, 
but it's still a viable fleet, especially with the comeuppance. I put mine on defense, so I have Leviathan, Executor, and the Radis on defense, and it, it's fine. It, it got me a hold last T Dep or last Grand Arena, but I would, I would get this up and running as far as at least get the ships for radis so that when you have radis slowly farm the radis to five stars and then once you have the radis pretty much ready then go for ray let's look at your hut cartel so i would like to see java in this account you have three gls you have a very good negotiator fleet you have an, an executor you have a lot of stuff in your account, but I would say Java would be my number one priority for this account. Getting Java up and running. Once you have Java, then you can go for Inquisitors. And then once your Ray is pretty much ready, then fit Ray in there as long as it's after Java. I would say as far as this account should go. And that would probably be the best thing that you can do for your account. That would be five GLs, two GL ships. Then you can go for Inquisitors knock that out that'll be probably your last proving ground or your last your last assault battle maybe not it looks like you man so there's there's a lot of holes here and you could you probably okay you probably did ct3 if you haven't you could probably do it with with piet stark veers death trooper range trooper that could probably get you challenge tier three for both the assault battles for for Imperial Troopers. It's kind of crazy that you have a, I don't know what that is, gear 10? A gear 10 Dark Trooper with a Zeta. I, I would say the Zeta is a luxury. So in the future, just be careful with what you do with your Zetas. If you wanted an R5 Dark Trooper, I, I think that would be a good, good thing to do, like a little side farm. They're still usable, they're still good. Other than that, I, yeah, same thing like Marin, like this. So, yeah, you, I, I see a lot of wasted stuff in here, down here, like a lot of Zetas, and you probably aren't fully accelerating things, but I would be hesitant to waste those materials because they're very, they're very useful. They're very good. And as you start getting more stuff in your account and you start accelerating your farms, which you, you should be at a point where you're, you're getting a lot of income, then you might be in a good place to, to get all that. So you, where your guild is, I would say for what you have is probably pretty appropriate as well. So one thing that, here's what guilds look for, right? The thing is you don't really have a lot of things that guilds are looking for in general. And I, I'm not saying that to put your account down. It's, it's a fine account. It's a good account. It's close to like a Lightspeed bundle account with some JML and C in there. But the problem with this account is it doesn't have the things that guilds are looking for right now, which they mid tier ones that aren't like super great are still looking for Reva shards. Other guilds, what they're looking for is like Zepho. They're looking for Mandalore. But the thing is, they're not only looking for those. They're also looking for really high raid participation and also a certain amount of GLs. So if you're looking to to upgrade from where you are in the game with three GLs, one GL ship, and at 7.7 .7 million, you don't really have a lot to offer a guild. So you have a decent amount of raid participation. You have uh, mid-tier GLs, like while JML, SLKRC are still good, they're still GLs. They're not Leia, they're not Jabba, they're not even Lord Vader, they're not they're not JMK. They're not like the premium GLs. E even Ray, like Ray's a premium defensive GL. So same thing as, believe it or not, Lord Vader. So these three are are like offensive GLs. So you don't bring anything TW defense wise for GLs. 
so you you get what I'm kind of saying here there's like you don't have anything income wise you can't really help much in in TW defense so it's it's very difficult for you to say like hey I, I want to step up my game I want to be in a more competitive guild I want to do better um, I would say once you have things like your Reva ready you have Java you have uh, Zepho Mandalore ready or something like that then that's like a, a very good thing or if you like fully committed to the raid and you're getting like baller raid participation like five million at least then that's where guilds would like look at your account and be like yeah we'll, we'll take this account you're getting five million six million raid participation uh yeah that's that's something that brings value to the guild but the problem with your account is it doesn't have a lot of guild value which isn't bad because you have a very good uh very good account like it's it's as far as I, I haven't delved too deep into it but you have the executor you have a you have the marauder with the negotiator you have quadme you have bane uh you have a lot of good stuff here you have the the quadme team you ha you have three gls you have a gl fleet you have gas so very good uh even lord vader you're very close to lord vader maybe go for lord as much as is here let's let's do this so i i do i don't believe in farming what's closest i believe in farming what's best for your account uh but here let's let's go to swh uh swh.gg and look let's look at your account real quick so i do want to look at it because to see how close you are to these gls that you are looking to farm All right, so typing in your ally code right now. All right, so here's your account. Now let's look at some tools. Gear tracker. Look at all right, you're nowhere near Leia, right? But Lord Vader. Pretty close to Lord Vader. Uh, still pretty good ways away. Not a lot of Cairo tech, but the relic materials are still pretty crazy high for for Lord Vader because it, it, this is incredibly expensive GL. So not, not in the realm where it's like, you must farm this right now. Uh, let's look at JMK. Still, JMK is much farther. Look at Ray. So Ray, you're very, very, very close, but you don't have the radish or the ships. So that's the problem with Ray. So that's why I was saying, see, like this is very close. Not a lot here. No, almost no Chirotex or very few Chirotex required. So this this is why I was saying Ray is like a you should have grabbed Ray a while ago because that's an instant boost of your account. It's a defensive GL that's very, very good. So I would snag up Ray, start farming those ships as fast as you can. And then like Jabba's just the superior farm. So even though it's really far away, if you're, you have to look at your bottlenecks. Like if you are really held back from Chirotech, and then go for Lord Vader. It's going to take a lot of like uh, bronzium wiring and signal data, but you would be able to save those Chirotech. So it really depends on where your bottleneck is. If you want to go for Lord Vader, go for Lord Vader, then get your your save those Cairo tech and then go into Java. But if you're looking for what's the best thing for your account, it's still believe it or not, it's still Java. Like Java is still the absolute best thing that you can add into your account. Like Ray's probably the closest if it wasn't for your ships. Uh, Lord Vader's pretty close, <laughs> but. Java is going to be the most impactful because let's look at your your speeds overall for this account. Like decent, decent, a little slow, a little for what I like, like just it's almost there, like 90% for what I want. A little slow on JML, the protection's okay. Uh, your potency is not not as much as I would like. Your C is 90% uh, of what I want. I, I would like a little more. 
All right, and then 340 is your fastest with Cat. I don't, maybe you ha use a pa Padme with Cat or something. Probably, that's that's a pretty good team. 336 for Quadme is good. So solid 336 for Piet. Not like not bad, not bad mods at all. 300. So 291. So one, two, three, four, five, 13. 13 non GL. And for not having Java, that's fine. That means you 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 understand what you're doing with your mods. You have a good base. The characters that are 300 plus are are good characters. So I don't see anything here that is crazy like master qui-gon queen amidala so but all these speeds seem very appropriate yeah so some of these I, I would like to get a lot of these characters faster but that goes with like mod depth but i would like to see some more effort and you still you have like a decent decent datacrons so not horrible so i would say you're on a good track you're doing really well I think you're an appropriate guild for where you are. You don't have, like I said, I, I don't want to beat that horse, uh, that dead horse, but I think your guild is appropriate for where you are. If you want a better guild, then you need to get things that guild wants, which is like raid participation, Zepho, Mandalore. You're not really close to those. So I would say work on your foundation. If Get Java. Get, if you want, go for Lord Job. You can go, if you, if... It's up to you. It's completely up to you, right? So if I inherited your account, I believe it or not, I would not go for Lord Vader. I would start immediately side farming Rey and her ships, get those ships ready, start unlocking the Radis, and then I would be going hard for Jabba. Once Rey's ships, you, the Radis, it, it takes like, I wouldn't accelerate that farm, but I would just like pass, I would just slowly farm it. And then once I have that, I would unlock Rey. As far as once I had uh, Radis at five stars, but while I was doing that at the same time, I would be putting all my efforts into Java and unlocking Java. Once you have Java, then you unlock Ray, then you can go for Lord Vader, then you can start going for these other things like Jedi Knight Calcastus and Bo-Katan Mandalore, which are going to really help your account. I would slow down on things like this, like DTMG. I see a lot of of these these things that are, are good. They're good for your, your account, but they're not, they're not as good or they're not really giving you more things. So you do, because you have a Terra Malakos, right? But, and it's R3, one Omicron. But what is it doing for your account? Maybe you use it with SLKR or something, but... There's, there's other things that you could have got with that Chirotech and, and those resources. Same thing as Maul and, and Cat, I guess Cat, since you have Padme. But there's things that you could be working on, like unlocking more GLs, unlocking um, things like Zepho, Mandalore. Inquisitors are good. I would say you need at least one GL before you go all in on Inquisitors. So you can like farm the shards if you want to, but I would finish your at least java before you go into inquisitors and a gl ship but you if you had like java profundity because i always say two g uh four gls two gl ships you do have the the marauder which uh, marauder negotiator is practically a gl ship so that i i would find that acceptable i would so you don't have to get the profundity or the leviathan before inquisitors but especially since you're going to have the scythe soon so if you wanted to go honestly if i had this account i probably would do jabba ray inquisitors lord vader into um jedi knight calcestis bokatan Bo mandalore is what i would do with this account i would continue to farm your shards get your get everything ready especially your, all your ships Farm, like continue to farm towards like new stuff uh, once they start becoming unlockable and you start running out of these accelerated farms to like uh like farming the shards right now we can farm night trooper and stuff like that just passively farm those and then farm all the shards for every gl and upcoming new farms and then once you have the shards then you can pretty much farm whatever you want but that's what i would do i would go with that farming pathway 
it's up to you uh, that farming pathway gives you a lot more resources it gives you more makes you more like guild worthy like it makes you makes you it has you give more to your guild so that you can be in a more competitive guild if you wanted to do something like that but it's up to you other than that like thanks for uh thanks for watching thanks for supporting i hope that answers all your questions i, I think you do have a very solid account pretty unique honestly it's it's definitely not a cookie cutter one there's some there's some things in here that are are different and it seems like you do capitalize on your conquest characters on your side farms and you do try to get like as much stuff up and running as you can i would say in the future be more selective with your zetas because you're you're just like you're just giving them out like halloween candy which isn't great but that's the farming pathway that I would give you. So if again, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Take care.